eating his chocolate casually. Eating food. So what's up guys? It's mm -hmm. been a dreary, rainy day, and it seems like it's been like that a lot this spring so far, and I'm hoping that changes soon. So we were, ho we were home all day doing nothing, bored out of our minds, so we're going to go to Ikea, because Matt needs a new bed. I'm tired of the air mattress. Yeah, it deflates like within an hour from using it, so we want to see what kind of beds you have here. Up the stairs we go. As he enjoys his race, he's... This is a little interesting. It's like has now. it's like a tool Whoa. section of hardware. It's weird. Hello, is anyone in here? Nope. Lock. You're not allowed in. Oh. You're taking a good old time with that Reese's, aren't you? <sighs> this bed has some potential. It looks like it would be pretty easy to set up. Oh, I like this. How much is it? Only $2.99. It's not bad. I mean, it looks like it would be pretty easy to reassemble it, but it does look like it's kind of cheap though. It's the thing is if it was black I would get it, but it's not gonna match my furniture. True. Have a seat, Matt. Tell me what's been bothering you lately. My back. Everything. <laughs> ah! This chair looks so welcoming. Like I must sit in it and I think I will. It's cozy. Maybe it's just me, but who would have palm trees on their table as he ignores me? I'm sorry, what? Okay, but... Why are they put loose glass in the fridge like that? Do they want to break everything? Oh, well, uh, Claire, I guess you're going to be breaking everything. I almost broke it. That's the thing. Drawers. People put lights in the drawers. I didn't know that was even a thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Why are they so tiny? Imagine eating food with that. A tiny fork. A tiny spoon. Oh, my gosh. And I have small hands. Wow, that is tiny. It's like a baby spoon. Yep. Let's have some pie. Does it even open? It won't it even let me good. open it. I would eat it. Oh, I love this. <gasps> oh, this would be easy to clean because you literally stove. just... Well, that down there would be easy to clean. You just pull this off. Like that, and you clean it. That's pretty easy. That is not, that is not, that is styrofoam. Have a bite. It's a stress pillow. Have a, it is a stress, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, it is a, it's it is a stress pillow. This is literally a stress pillow. That's made to look like bread. <laughs> Watching oh, a show Lord. right now, his favorite show, Forced. How to get away with murder. Some cheese and bread. There's, there's more stress pillow bread. Will it even come up? Oh, the glued. Look, it's glued. <laughs> Okay, this is a terrifying picture. He's got brains in the background. It looks like some kind of, I don't even want to know what that is. There's tooth on him and he's got fish heads on his head. This is disturbing. My favorite brand of camera, the Jordan Narp. There's another one here. So we're just looking at this room and we notice that almost everything in this room is only 732 bucks. That's actually very good. I mean, that's a lot of stuff in here and pretty much a whole room for that price is pretty good. All right guys, it's a big day. Matt's coming out of the closet. The best laptop in the world. Laptop. Just to show how dreary of a day it is outside. It's Every been like- Every single time we are here, the weather is so bad. Well, like that's... the last time we were here, it was like rainy and cold, and now it's rainy and cold. Well, that's what you do on a rainy day. You go to Ikea. <laughs> Follow the shaking arrow. We sat in the sofa last time. It's very comfy. I need a trash can to throw this out. He's already full. He had half of a Reese's. I'm all done. I can't quite figure out what this is. <laughs> It's wrinkly. Oh, it actually got laundry inside of these things. I wonder how long that's been in there. I don't want to know. This is probably the slowest closing thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Slow curtain. For dramatic effect. Are you ready for dinner, Ryan? Yeah. Coming to the beds. Beautiful bed. Yes. Mine's kind of similar to this one, but the headboard is a little different. Oh my god, this is cheap. Only $200 for this? This is, this is the one I used to have. Is it? Yeah. I like it because it's a little taller. Were there drawers on the other side? I didn't see any drawers. There's drawers on this one then. Okay, yeah. There. This one does have drawers, and they're long. Whoa. Whoa that's a... Yep. A drawer within a drawer. Yep, I used to have this. So we made it down to the lower floor. We are in the accessories and the smaller stuff area. Whatever. I want to buy a bed, but um, we didn't bring a truck or anything. So it's like, if I want to buy a bed, gotta wait. Or yep. have it delivered, if that's even an option. Yeah, I think they do deliver. And as soon as we came downstairs, we are going back upstairs and we to look at the mattresses again. Look at all those sharks. Cuddle with, with me. Plushy. Would you walk on that bridge, Matt? Uh, no, and I love this tub. I would soak in there every day with my soaks. Soaking with your soaks. Oh. Okay. Look, imagine if this was your bathroom, and you could lay in your tub with your bath bombs. The whole bath smells like lavender. You're soaking. You have a fire lit. You're listening to jazz music. 
How lit would life be? Literally. It'd be as lit as that fireplace. <laughs> nice. Oh, hey there. Hey, Matt, do you want to wake up with the birds? Yes. Pillow fight. Ow. Just testing out the mattresses now. I just want to take a nap. Are you comfy? I go sleep. Always sleepy. <laughs> Matt in his mattress. This is comfy, actually. Here, I'm being serious. Just lay on your side and then test how it feels on your shoulders. Oh my gosh, this is comfy. Oh. This is comfy. Sleepy. Why are you at Ikea in your PJs, boy? <laughs> Why are you at Ikea with your PJs? Because it's, you have to practice sleeping, so you have to wear PJs. You, you totally planned this out, didn't you? I have to try to remember. Yeah, this is, this is, this is worse. That's my favorite one right there. I really? have a hole in my sock. Someone said I have a... You have a big L on your sock. I think Matt is pretty certain on his decision. He wants to get this mattress for $2.99. He wants to get the Haugen mattress. Look at all the pandas. So Matt's pretty sure what he wants to get, so we're downstairs. We're gonna look for the boxes now. Well, I don't know if it's gonna fit in my little tiny car. Well, that's what we're gonna find <laughs> out. We wanna see how big these things are and if they can fit in our tiny little cars. Mine's pretty packed already with equipment. His is pretty empty, but we'll see how empty yeah, they his are. his is always trashed. It's not trash, it's full of equipment because I carry a lot of equipment from work. I think you need one of these, Matt. A dinosaur butt. Oh no! What is this for? I have no idea. Is it a wall plug or something? I have no idea. I swear this light looks like a hair dryer. <laughs> like the ones that you see in a hair salon. How satisfied were you with your shopping experience today, Matt? Um. Happy. Getting a couple happies. Very happy. We've made it to the end. We are now going to try to find the box. Shelves for days and days and days. It's so empty in here. You're gonna find what we're looking for, sir? 3112. That would be right here. So we found the boxes. Is it a risk that's worth taking? Uh, it's up to you, really. The one of question is this longer one. We just don't know if this will fit in either of our cars or not. And this is the mattress here, which is also a little bit questionable. So we're gonna take the measurements, go out to the car, and see if it will fit or not. This is his new bed dance. Playing with the CVS receipt. <laughs> it's a little past 67. Can you remember that? Well, gotta film. The width and the height don't really matter, right? Let's do the width. The depth doesn't matter. Yeah. So we got the measurements for the boxes. So now we're gonna go out to the car and see if it will fit in the car or not. We have to fit in the car. Yes. 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 Well, this is a problem. No, stop. <laughs> I don't think we were expecting to actually purchase a bed today. Uh, no, we weren't. But here we are, Matt versus tape measure. Tape measure levels up. Matt takes a critical hit. I wonder what the backup plan is. Do we have to ask? Because sometimes your ideas are bigger than your car. <laughs> <laughs> you push it real hard, it might go, right? I do not know. This is really going to be cutting it close. Push it, push it, push it. The little engine that good. <laughs> so the final decision will be we're getting it, and if it doesn't fit, then he's gonna go get a truck and come back. I don't know if I agree to this, but I guess I'm doing it. Yeah, you're doing it. All right, we're going back out to the car again, because there was another box that we forgot to measure that's even longer than the one that we thought was the longest box. So now, no! the longest box is 87 inches, I think, and I don't think it's gonna fit, but we'll find out. 81.75 inches. That is not promising at all far as it could go. There's no way. The end is right here, but if it sits flat, do you think it might go? Nope, Look, it's bending that way. It needs to be completely straight for it to fit right. That it's not gonna fit at all. Oh, it's so close. Realistically, we need like an extra foot. He's mad. <laughs> it ain't gonna fit. <laughs> if you wanna risk it, we can try it. Risk it? What do you mean by that? Well, if it doesn't fit, you wanna have to get it delivered. No, I'm not. How long does it take for him to open up a trunk? I don't like you. It's a button. It's a button, not a camera, dummy. No, this, I thought this was a camera. That is not a camera, that is a screw. It felt like a camera. A screw okay, feels like I'm a- I'm done with you, what's the measurement? Okay. Yeah, it'll fit. Just barely. Cause it'll bend up. 
We'll see. And we're going back in. And I think it's going to fit in my car. My car's a little bit longer oh, and wider. Oh, so now all of a sudden you have hope for the camera, but not for me. Exactly. Two minutes ago he was saying that, I'm not going to give you false hope. But as soon as he whipped that camera out real quick, then he got hope all of a sudden. I want to give okay. you guys false hope. Not him. Wow. Make him doubt himself. I have no words. How many times can we walk down the same aisle where our cart? Oh no, our cart is gone. Uh, we can just take that one since it's been sitting here a minute. You want to move this stuff? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll take it. Sorry. All right, I'll watch. I can't. Do you really think I can lift up this heavy? <laughs> <laughs> you only got this on it so far. Still gotta get the end tables. We are having an adventure today. That's right. We pulled it off. It's kind of scary. All looking. the stuff. The victory march. The victory march. Now I gotta push this thing. Oh, we gotta go out this way. Yep. All right. The moment of truth. We are gonna have high hopes here. Okay. 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 culprit that we are getting rid of. It's not bad, actually. My tears. I'm being serious. Those are my tears. From what? Sometimes when I, when, when I sleep, my, my water's eye. My yeah. eyes water. Your, water ah. your water's eye. <laughs> <laughs> How do you English? Come on, use all 28 of your tons and sit on the bed. <sighs> yup. See what I mean? Too damn big. I fell. Come on, get up. Whoa. You could literally make me fly in the air. Do it. I dare you. Make me fly in the air. I think that's the last one. Yep, just stay. You want to get that sticking feeling? I guess start rolling it like a, pe like a bottle of toothpaste. I guess so. And the bed is now gone. Time to start building the new one. You want to come help me take something down in the basement? No, I do not. Right, we'll do it anyway. Oh my god. Wow. That's how you know it's hot in here. Yep. This is Matt's new style. <laughs> Here's all our parts and tools. Look at that. That's rude. It's all sound and no hurt. Keep doing that, see what happens. All right, we got all the stuff out of the boxes now. So now it is time to start assembling the bed. Annoying. Actually, two parts. That's right, yeah. The um, main support beam in the middle, and also the other support brackets. With what came with the bed frame, the mattress board just fell through it. So, we are back at IKEA on another dreary and depressing day. Because that's what Marilyn is like. So, this is the part that we need. This is the middle support beam. He's a little irked about it. And then we also need these little wooden slats, too. But we, did, we just didn't know that um, the box frame didn't come with these two parts and these are essentially the most important parts of the frame because you can't use the bed without it there's no yeah support. there's no support for the mattress well we got what we needed got the slats in the mid beam he's going to be salty about this for a few days no salty yeah give it two days 
It's like you would think that there would have been like a sign in the warehouse saying, if you're getting this bed set, make sure you get the mid beam and the slats. Like you will need these. But there was no sign at all. Like they just expected you to know it, like common knowledge. Like, and there was nobody around to like help us about it either. Yeah, I mean, you would think that the salespeople on the sales floor would have said, hey, you need to get this and this. It doesn't come with a frame. No, nope, it was cricket. Oh well. So this is what the bed frame should look like. Because without these wooden slats or that middle beam right here, there would be no support for the mattress. So I guess now it is time to put the mattress on. But right now, the mattress is ready to be opened. Mm. Just spilled this all over my face. Nice. How do we do it? Uh-oh. 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 Whoa! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Whoa! Wow. Why is it so small? It'll inflate more. Does it need to, does it just inflate on its own? Yeah, it'll, it'll inflate more. After much bickering, we got a mattress on with memory foam underneath it's of it. Big enough. Is it good? Mm -hmm. How much strings for? Oh. Don't make it too neat if you want to lay it back down on it. I ain't laying down now. You need to test drive it. Test drive it? Yes. Mm. I'm gonna go sip. How is it? It's cold. It's cold. Mm -hmm. But it'll warm up. Yeah. There it is, folks. Matt's, oh. yes, ah! Matt's new bed. Time to crash the party. I think I need the memory foam. Yeah, it is kind of thin. I need more memory foam. <laughs> it's still comfy though. It is comfy. Just keep stacking layers of memory foam. Yeah, I got like three layers of memory foam in my bed. <laughs> but with one, then that one got old, put the new one on top, then that got old, then put another one on top. Super bouncy. I guess this concludes our adventure in getting a new bed for Matt. Was it fun? No. <laughs> yeah, we had a few setbacks, a few minor annoyances. <laughs> Other than a few setbacks, it was still kind of fun to do it though. All right, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.